Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am in my dining room again. I kind of created my own little beauty studio in my dining room, as you can tell, my little props. And I might be here, I might be in my normal beauty room, I might be in my bedroom. When you live in a small house, you just kind of have to make do with what you got. For today's video, I am going to be just playing around with some older makeup, things that I have used on my channel before, but I've kind of since kind of pushed them to the side as I've been trying out new makeup. And I kind of just want to play with it again and see how I like things because I honestly, some of these things I don't remember how I like them. So, so if you saw my last video, I did a video where I did an eyeshadow tag challenge, I guess. And in that video, I mentioned my Physician's Formula Butter Eyeshadow Palette. I haven't used this in a really long time, so I kind of wanted to play with it again since I pulled it out for that video. And I was just like, hmm, I want to play with this again. So this is the palette we're going to be using. I'm going to start with our eyes first because I don't really know what kind of look I'm going to do. So if you saw my other video, you'll know that I said that some of the darker shades do have a little bit of fallout. So I don't want that to get on the rest of my makeup. So we're going to do the eyes first. All right, to start off, I am going to be using my e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. I haven't used this in a while. I've kind of been using just other things. Start off, I am going to go into more of one of these shades, more of the cool tone, just to kind of start as our transition shade. So I think I'm going to go into this shade right here, which is called Beach Beige. You know, I can tell that this product is older because it's starting to lose that butter bronzer smell. Again, like I said, I'm just going to use this as my transition shade. Next, I'm going to go into this deeper brown shade, which is called Off the Coast, just to kind of deepen the crease a little bit more. Kind of bringing that out to the outer edge as well. Alright, just taking a fluffier brush and just kind of cleaning up those edges a little bit and kind of blending those two shades together. Alright, so I think I want to smoke out the lash line a little bit, so I'm going to go into this black shade right here, which is called After Dark. And I'm going to take like a little smudging brush here, and oh, I almost went to the wrong shade. I'm just going to grab a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of wiggle that on my hand just to get rid of most of the product because I don't want tons. And then what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to wiggle this and press it into my lash line. Now with a clean brush, I'm gonna go in and kind of blend that out a little bit. So next I'm gonna go into this like gold bronze shade, which is called Sundown. And I'm just going to Take the tiniest bit, and this is going to go right on top, kind of on the lid, but not like all over the lid. We kind of want it just on top of that black liner that we put on. What that's going to do is just going to soften that black a little bit, just so that it's not like so dark and harsh. All right, next thing we're going to do is I'm just going to take a makeup wipe really quick and wipe off any fallout and kind of clean up those harsh lines and then we'll move on to the face. So today I decided to use my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I haven't used this in a while. I like to focus it mostly in my T-zone because it is a poreless primer. But then I do like to take the rest of it and kind of put it over the rest of the face for foundation today I'm using my L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Makeup. It's been a while since I've used this foundation and I really really do like this foundation. It's just a really good everyday or even special occasion foundation. Oh that was a lot. Okay. Whoopsie. I'm just gonna scoop some of that up. I'm gonna go in with my Real Techniques brush to start buffing this onto the skin.
I'm gonna take my sponge and just whatever I have left on the back of my hand, pick up with my sponge. And then I'm just gonna press over my skin gently. All right, so for concealer day, I wanted to go back to an oldie but a goodie. I haven't used this in probably a couple weeks, honestly. I've been playing around with um, my mascara, beauty makeup, and my Laura Mercier um, Flawless Fusion Concealer. And I haven't really been wearing much makeup anyway, so I wanted to use this again because it's a, it's a good one. So for a powder day, I'm going to be using my Becca Soft Light Blurring Powder. This isn't a um, setting powder. This is more like a finishing powder that you would put on top of your regular normal setting powder. But I've kind of been liking more of the dewier look lately. And so this, since this is, has a little bit of a shimmer in it, not like a like sparkly shimmer, but it just kind of has a luminosity to it, I wanted to try this out for my powder today. Take my sponge first on one side of my face just to see how it applies and then if I don't like how it looks then we'll go in with a brush. Okay I liked how that set on this side so I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on this side with the sponge. I like that I like how it set with the sponge but also just how it set in general on the face and my skin looks really luminous but it doesn't look powdery either blush today i wanted to play around with the l'oreal age perfect radiant skin blush and this is in the shade mauve um it's been a while since i've used this blush um and i think it's just a really pretty blush and it would really complement this look so let me grab a blush brush really quick okay Pause. We gotta do bronzer. I have not used the Hoola bronzer in a while and I wanted to pull out again. This is a very pigmented bronzer so a little bit goes a long way so I had to like dust it off because I'm kind of heavy handed. My forehead just to kind of warm everything up. go down the sides of my nose a little bit just to kind of shape them a little bit. Now we can move on to a blush now. Oh that's such a pretty blush. I love it. Love it. I also place that blush in a really good spot too. Sometimes, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes when I'm applying like bronzer or blush, um, sometimes I place it like too inward or too low or too high even and you know I make mistakes too. I'm human. I'm gonna go into back into that first shade that we used for our transition shade, Beach Beige. This is gonna go right under our lower lash line here. Then I'm going to go into that darker brown and kind of mix it in with the black here, um, just like a little bit. And then I'm just going to dot that on the back of my hand. And then I'm going to add this, let me grab my mirror so I can see a little bit, right in the outer corner of my eye and just stopping like a third of the way. I don't want tons of this. The same brush that we used for Beach Beige. I'm just going to blend that out a little bit. But keeping it on that outer third. 
We are going to go into mascara and the mascara I wanted to use is the On The Rise mascara from NYX. Haven't used this in a while and I actually really do like it. The thing about this mascara though that I don't like is you can kind of see it's like a very flimsy applicator. It's, it's a rubber applicator so it's not like those like hair like bristles. You gotta be careful because it the scratch. If I'm not careful my lash line. All right, mascara is on and that took a while. I'm not gonna lie. Next up is I'm gonna do my eyebrows and I was looking for my CoverGirl brow pencil and I don't know where it is. I'm just gonna stick with my tried and true Maybelline brow pencil. into the eyeshadow palette right here i'm going to go into this lightest shade right here which is called bay cashin and i'm going to use this as my brow bone highlight then i'm going to go into this shade right here which is called coconut kiss and i'm going to use this as my inner corner highlight all right next thing we're going to do lips and i'm going to be using my maybelline um spicy mauve this is kind of going to match the the blush. I'm going to be using the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist to spray my face. I haven't used this in a while. I've been stuck on my ColourPop Pretty for us, so this is one that I'm going to use today to set my face. That mist. Oh, I forgot I had a candle behind me. <laughs> Oops. I'm going to take my sponge and just gently go over my face and melt the setting mist. And the this is the makeup together. That is it for my video today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Give this video a thumbs up and comment down below and let me know what more you would like to see from me. I'm always looking for new creative video ideas, so definitely let me know in the comments. Yeah, I'm really happy that I was able to sit down and play with some older products that I haven't been really reaching for. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you won't be so you won't be. <laughs> bell so you'll be notified every time I post new videos. I love you guys and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!